Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the layout concept in the CSS. So we have learned different layouts like floats, display inline block, these are all the things we have learned it, right? Before going on to the flex and grid CSS concepts and all those things. There is also one important layout technique which is available in the CSS. Most of the people doesn't know about that one. That is nothing but a multi-column layout. All the people know but they use it less often. So in this video what I want to do is I want to explain you about the basics of the multi-column layout. So how this multi-column layout will be useful for the content and how we can use it this multi-column layout let's try to see it. So multi-column layout will be best suitable if you want to show the content in a newspaper magazine type of thing. So like a column data. So in the newspaper if you try to see in a magazine so you'll be able to see the column oriented articles. So you'll be able to see the four column oriented article you'll be reading it as a column wise column wise you'll be reading. So like the design if you want to do it so we use the multi-column technique let's try to see the scenario here i am having a new class is equal to container i am using a container here and in this container i am having a h1 that is nothing but a page heading title something like this i am giving if you try to see the output here so this is the page heading title okay now what i want to do is i want to have a content here so let's try to take here i am giving here class is equal to columns and in this column what i will do is here i am having an heading h3 so heading i will give heading and for this heading i will be having p i will take some content and here also i will give some dummy content so like this i will be having so for this heading we are having two things or otherwise you can also maintain this one in one article okay so this is this is one article and the same article we will repeat this article okay we can repeat this article multiple times also we can repeat it now this is the content we are having if you try to see the output so here we are able to see as a row wise one by one row wise we are able to see it but i what i want is the requirement is i want to show it in a four column layout or three column layout so that means so i can i should be able to read the content in a column wise not in a row wise so what i can do is so here this is the columns right so this is the columns container so i can take these columns and here for these columns so what is the, how many columns i want it so i want the column count should be four okay now i will try to keep the column count as four if you see here immediately what has happened immediately the data what it is there in the row wise it is automatically converted into the column wise. so there are four columns why because we have given the four column count now if you try to see the responsive wise also it is able to give so the data is able to automatically the content is able to adjust auto adjust so you'll be able to see that is everything is an auto adjusting now heading is having some margin or something like that i don't know so whether it is an h3 right so maybe it could be having some margin let's try to keep margin of zero pixel yeah so this is having some margin right so we can remove this margin something like h3 and i can remove this margin of zero pixel okay if you see the output so what we'll be able to see heading has been gone so this is a paragraph that is the reason that paragraph is also having the margin if you want you can also remove that margin also for the paragraph let's try to remove this one for paragraph that's not a bother so yeah here so for this one all we can able to see it okay only for the heading i have given the margin so the all paragraphs i have i have removed the margin so this is how we can convert it into the column wise now we can also give i want to have something like the minimum width of this column if i try to see here so when i am trying to decrease this one all so here the content in the columns are getting squeezed so we are able to see that the contents in the column are getting squeezed so what i want to do is each column the minimum width should be around something like i want to give it should be around uh, 250 pixel let's say i want to have the each column width should be minimum 250 pixel so here for this one we can use column width of 250 pixel okay column width of 250 pixel if i try to see here see here i'm able to see that it is everything is converted into one by one down why because the column count it, it cannot able to accommodate to, to 250 pixel if i try to move it here see now it has been two column layout has been came why because each column is having minimum of 250 pixel here the width of the 
each column is two minimum of 250 pixel so now if i try to expand this one to full screen here we are able to see only the three columns only but we have mentioned the column count to be four but still we are able to see only the three column layout why because we are able to see only the three column three column layout each column we have mentioned that it should have a minimum width of 250 pixel okay here we have mentioned that each column width should be ha having minimum width of 250 pixel so for that reason so here we are able to see show so here we are able to show only three columns with a minimum width of 250 pixels so that is the reason we are able to see only three columns so that means you need to understand that column count and column width are both proportional to each other for example if i give only the 50 pixel column width should have minimum of 50 pixel then column count is should be only four only so then what it will happen it will take maximum four if i try to give here so it will try to accommodate here like this 50 pixel right so that is the reason maximum of column count 4 it is trying to do if i don't mention this column count and if i mention it as a column width of 50 pixel then see how it will come here so it will try to accommodate the columns which is having each one with a 50 pixel width so like this you will get it and if you mention this column count should be maximum of 4 means then it will try to accommodate only the four column uh, four column which is having a minimum width of 50 pixel so like this both the column count and also the column width are both proportional to each other so that is the thing you need to understand and another thing what i want to do is what i want to explain you is so instead of mentioning this one we also have a shorthand property for this one there is nothing but a columns so columns you can mention it like this columns and you can give 4 comma 250 pixel so first one 4 means so i can remove these two things so here this is a shorthand notation columns 4 means column count is you need to have 4 and the column width is 250 pixel if i try to show the output then also we are able to see the same output you can also interchange these two values also for example i can give 250 pixel comma 4 then if you try to then also it will work now without any problem why because so the number the css automatically it will be able to recognize that the number is nothing but a column count and the dimension you the unit which you are mentioning that is nothing but a column width so the css can able to recognize not only like this you can also mention only the 250 pixel also you can mention it now if you mention the 250 pixel then also it will take only the column width as a 250 pixel if you mention only four means here so columns four means it will be able to understand that okay this is a number so i need to take it as a column count now if you try to see here we are able to see a column count of four so like this we can able to use this column shorthand property for the combination of both column width and also the column count so that is the main thing you need to understand so this is the basic of the column layout so how to divide this one using the column layout now if you try to see automatically the content and everything will readjust to each other so like a magazine magazine code so like a magazine article <clears throat> now the thing is another thing is i want to add a border here okay i want to add a border vertical border so that i can divide the each columns with a vertical border so i can have a division so how can i give that vertical border let's try to see it in the next session so this is the basic thing about the column concept so for make for dividing the content into a columns we will be using the column count four and also in order to give width minimum width for each column we will be using column width so these are the two properties which you need to remember hope you understood about this multi-column layout concept basic thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you